And we're just about set to get underway here from Gable Field. Scott fed us along with Kelly Ross. And uh, Kelly, looking at the uh, indications as was given before game time, Union has won the toss and has elected to take the option in the second half. So it uh, looks like the Tahlequah Tigers have decided they will receive and defend the north goal here at Gable Field. And Union will kick off and defend the south goal as we open the state 5A class playoffs here. The class 5, I don't know, I always get that word, those two words turned around. The class 5A state football playoffs here tonight. You know, Scott, uh, I was just talking before I left home. Uh, it's been a long time since the Tigers have played at home. You know, our patented uh, play uh, at uh, starting a football game is to take that ball all the way back uh, for a score, and I think that would <clears throat> would certainly cap off tonight's play if we could uh, get off with an excellent offensive thrust right here at the start of the game. I know the kids are ready to go. Coach Cooper's got them all fired up, and uh, the Orange is very predominant in the crowd. As like we say, there is an excellent crowd here, and... I think we're ready to play football. I hope they're ready because I'm ready to go right now. And uh, we are set to go. The official marks it ready for play. It's the only officials tonight. Uh, Don Wofford is, is with his crew here tonight officiating this uh, second round game. Rick Vaughn tees it up for the Union Redskins and we're set to get underway. Vaughn approaches the ball and there's the kick. We're underway. Ball will be taken at about the 12-yard line and fumble picked up by Reisenhoover. Up to the 20, to the 25, out to the 30, to the 33, out to the 35-yard line and will go down. So the Tigers will have excellent field position to start the football game here tonight. And Rick Vaughn, the kicker, was there to make the stop. As you say, Hannah had uh, fumbled the ball slightly, but... Uh, Chris Eisenhoover picked it up and brought it out to the 37-yard line. The Tigers are in pretty good field position to start with. To open the football game for the Tigers, Ray will be a quarterback. Two split backs behind him will be Hannah and Ray. Handoff goes to Reisenhoover going along the left side. Reisenhoover hit by about three Redskins and goes down hard, so he'll pick up about a yard, but not much more. Scott Weiner, the big 240-pound, six-foot-four senior there to uh, meet Chris as he got to the line. As you say, a pick up of, at best, one yard. Just underway here from Gable Field with the clock running. 11.15 to play, no score. Tigers have the ball for the first time as they have taken the opening kickoff and ran one play. Second down, eight yards to go for the Tigers. Ray will take, give to Hannah, coming to the right side, hit by the defensive end on the right side, and will go down for a loss back to the 36. That was Tommy Kitchens there, a six-foot junior, to uh, stop Chris Hanna there. As you say, a loss of about two back to uh, the initial line of scrimmage, 37-yard line, so the Tigers are going to have third and ten, Scott. Third down, ten yards to go for the Tigers. Ray will send a twin set to the far side, split backs behind him, wants to throw. Third down, 10. Looking to his left, throws, has a man open, and it's incomplete at the 45-yard line. The receiver had it and dropped it. That was Sam Bowers. He uh, went up high, but just uh, wasn't able to hang on to it. It was a pretty good pass there, and he was in the open enough for the first and 10, but the Tigers are going to have to punt now. So, Scott Crocker will come in for the Tigers, back deep to receive at about the Union 25-yard line. Number 26, Ken Bailey, along with Brent Long, number 24. Third down and 10, excuse me, fourth down and 10. Good snap from center, no rush. Crocker gets off a kick that's off the side of his foot. Will hit about the midfield stripe and take a union bounce up to the Tiger 48-yard line. My goodness, that was a punt of 11 yards. As you say, Scott, it just came off the side of his foot. Looked like a dying quail as it went up into the air where it had actually no velocity whatsoever. So Union now is in excellent field position. Tiger territory. Mitch Payne, the six foot, 170 pound senior will be the signal caller here tonight for Union. He'll open the ball game with split backs behind him. Handoff goes to the fullback. That's Pearson up to the 45 yard line. We'll get across the 45 to the 44. Pick up of about five, we'll call it second down at five. And Mike Welch was there to make the stop for Tahlequah. Pick up a five, second and five now. And as we've been told, the Union Redskins come up and go in a hurry. Pitch this time will go to Wilkerson, trying to get outside, does get outside, hit about the 40 yard line and falls forward to about the 35 and I believe he has the first down. Yes, he does and uh, first to make contact there with him for Tahlequah was number 25, Chris Hanna. 
but then he drug himself forward uh, down to about the 35-yard line, first and 10. First and 10 from the 35. Quarterback, Bain, gives off inside to the fullback. Wilkerson once again, Wilkerson across the 35 to about the 32. Pick up of three, second and seven. That was uh, David Quentin in there to make the stop. And as you say, they move quickly, Scott, in and out of that huddle. Man split to the far side, split backs. Hand off to Pearson. Across the 30 goes down. We have penalty markers down, and we'll have to wait and see. Usually in the area, Kelly Ross, of uh, legal procedure. Looks like it might be. Uh, I believe they're conferring with the Tiger captains. Don Wofford, the official, coming across, and will say, uh, well, that's going to go against the Tigers, as I saw the preliminary indication, but I'm not familiar with it. No. Let's see. He put his hand on his chest. I'm not sure what that signal was. Payne got across the 30-yard line to the 27, and but they'll bring it back, and it'll be just about the same. They'll get the down over. If they take the penalty, that's what they're going to do. So, five-yard penalty assessed against the Tigers. That puts the football on the 27. We have third down, excuse me, second down and two yards to go for the Redskins. Split backs again. Payne takes pitches to Wilkerson outside to the 25 to the 20, breaks a tackle and falls down at the 16-yard line. They had Matlock there to stop Wilkerson from scoring uh, as he carried that ball right on down to the 16-yard line. First down and 10 yards to go for Union to the Tiger 16. Split backs, one receiver split to the far side. Payne takes inside handoff to Pearson, has a hole, trap play down to the 10-yard line. Beautiful hole there right up off the right side. Uh, Brian Grief and Scott Warner are leading the way. So he carried the ball right down to the Tiger 10 and pick up a six. Bailey will split to the far side once again. Split backs behind the quarterback, Mitch Payne. He'll take option play. He's hit and fumbles the football. Right gets right back on it at the 10-yard line, just outside the 10-yard line. So we'll call it no gain. Third down and five. And that was Wayne Guthrie right there to put the stop on him. Looks like they spotted it back at the 11 now. No score in the first quarter, 8.28 on the scoreboard clock. Big play right here for the Tiger defense. Payne takes, pitches to Wilkerson, coming to the near side, cuts up inside, and will go down to the nine-yard line. We'll be short of the first down by about three yards. And that was uh, Brian Hodge and David Quentin there to make the stop. And I'll tell you what, Kelly Ross, I know that head coach J.W. Emerson of Tulsa Union is very, very conscious of the Tiger defense. I think he's going to kick a field goal right here. Looks like they're lining up. Mitch Payne holding. Number 12, that's uh, Ricky Bond that'll do the uh, attempted field goal. Be about a 28-yard attempt. Ball is down. There's the kick, and it's not going to be good as it hit. Uh, did not get across. Didn't even get to the goal line. Right. Uh, they haven't had to do much uh, kicking of any kind so far this season, Scott. Their offense has been potent enough that they score usually or turn it over, and uh, they haven't had to punt or try too many field goals. So the Tiger defensive unit has uh, met the first challenge. So the Tigers will get the football back. First and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Seven minutes, 44 seconds remain here in the first quarter, no score. First down and 10, Ray back to pass on first down, looking, going for it all, hangs it up, has a man open to complete at the 40-yard line. And that is Wayne Robertson, Scott, as we might expect. Oh, Wayne just ran a fly pattern right straight down the field, and John Ray lofted it up in the air and dropped it right in. Beautiful pass, beautiful run. In between double coverage that time, Wayne Robertson comes down with the catch all the way out to the Union 41-yard line. First down and 10 yards to go. Split receivers, two of them to either side. Split backs behind John Ray. First and 10, Ray takes hands off, gives the Reisenhoover inside across the 40-yard line down to the 39. Pick up of a couple of yards. We'll call it second down and eight. That was Billy Goonby, the nose guard there, to make the stop on uh, Chris Reisenhoover as the Tigers now had the ball in uh, Union territory down on their 39. 7.06 on the scoreboard with uh, no score at this time. Same formation for the Tigers. Split back, split receivers. Ray wants to throw, does throw. It is complete out to the 30-yard line, and the receiver will go down at the 28th on a great catch as he had to go down and field it like a catcher. 
And that was Wayne Robertson again, just turning around out. And it's got a little hook pattern. He took that ball and he juked the first uh, defensive corner man and brought it on down to the 28-yard line, a pickup of about uh, 11 yards on that play. First down out of 10 for the Tigers. Six minutes, 42 seconds remain here in the first period. We have no score. First and 10 from the 28. Split backs, twin set to the far side. John Ray will take and give off to Reisenhoover. Reisenhoover across the 25 down to the 23 yard line. He's stacked up there by a host of Redskins. Uh, leading the charge there was Brian Prince with a little help from uh, Billy Gumby again, the nose guard. But that was a fine run. Uh, Reisenhoover went behind the uh, trap block over on the left side of Wesley Dukes and uh, Chuck Perky enough to put the ball down at about the 23 yard line. Second down, five yards to go. Receivers, one of the split to either side. Ray will take. Get side handoff to Hannah. Down to the 20-yard line is met there. Just gets across the 20-yard line. The Tigers will be about two yards short of the first down here. And we'll call it third down. That was uh, Tony Snobby and Brian Prince, the two linebackers, as uh, Hannah just took the ball right straight ahead behind the blocking of Tuffy Thornton and Russell Boyd, and uh, as you say, we're about two yards short of a first and 10. Same formation for the Tigers, third down and two. Ray, pitch to Reisenhoover, has the first down, out to the 15, down to the 13-yard line, first and 10, Tigers. Good play there as uh, the defensive unit of uh, Union was drawn toward the middle, and John just flipped that out to Chris. Right around the left side, he went and knocked out of bounds at the 13, so the Tigers are knocking on the door. As the case has been all season long, the Tigers have, uh, behind the quarterbacking of John Ray, have been able to run that option play, and they do it effectively so far here in this ballgame. Twin set to the near side, first and 10 from the 13. Ray wants to throw on first down, being pressured, and now will just take it, and it gets away from its uh, tackler, up back up to the 25, and will go down there. So... Ray could have been sacked about the 35-yard line, but gets 10 of that back and gets back to the 24. It was real good uh, secondary cover, coverage. Just the Tigers had two men in the end zone, but uh, John Ray just did not have the time to set up and throw. And as you say, he picked, gained back about 10 that he would have lost had the first man that touched him uh, been able to hold on to him. Second down and 20 as they mark the football at the 23-yard line. Ray. Takes, pitches to Hannah, trying to get outside, does get outside, down to back to the original line of scrimmage, maybe to the 12-yard line. Quick pitch is all it was that time and got a lot of blocking on the outside. Yes, he did. Uh, Wesley Dukes pulled that time and took the corner man, and John uh, Chris Hannah just outran the nose guard down to uh, the 12-yard line before he caught up with him, wrapping him up there. That's Billy Gumby, the 6-foot, uh, 243-pounder. Third down, nine yards to go from the 12-yard line. Ray will take on third down, wants to throw, does throw, has a man open, touchdown, Tigers! And I'll bet you that's Wayne Robertson, Scott. He jumped in the air in his patented catch. A beautiful pass from John Ray raised up and hit Wayne Robertson as he went down right into the end zone, run a little curl pattern, and the Tigers are on the scoreboard first with 4-0-4 left in the first quarter. Scott Crocker comes in to attempt the point after. The Tigers are on the scoreboard. 12, 12 yards, Scott. Reisliver to hold on the point after. There's the snap, ball is down, there's the kick. It's up and it is good. Time out on the field. Four minutes and four seconds to play in the first quarter. Tahlequah seven, Union nothing. Back with the kickoff in 40 seconds. You just can't beat Whirlpool. Whether it's a washer, dryer, dishwasher, refrigerator, or freezer, visit Western Auto and check on Whirlpool. You'll like the design, the load maintenance, and best of all, the prices. At Western Auto, 711 South Muskogee in Tahlequah. Hey, gals, listen to this. Phelps Family Shoe Store, downtown Tahlequah, is offering a super special on the entire stock of soft spots. Regularly priced at 46 now just $36 a pair. Hurry for best selection and save on the softest shoe in America. Soft spots now on sale, $36 a pair at Phelps Family Shoe Store, Tahlequah. Back to action here at Gable Field. Crocker tees it up to kick off. Deep for the Redskins, Bailey along with Cabanus. There's the kick. It's a high kick. We'll be taking it about the seven. That is Bailey coming to the near side, up to the 15. 
Uh, we'll get outside to the 20, break the tackle in the open to the 30, 35 to the 40, run out of bounds at the 42-yard line, but we have a penalty marker back at the 20-yard line. I think we're going to have a clip. Yes, we are, Scott, as the uh, Union man just uh, completely annihilated the Tiger, hitting him from behind, and uh, they'll take that ball back to about the 10-yard line, I believe. Incidentally, that uh, scoring drive of the Tigers was, uh, covered 80 yards on nine plays with three passes being completed, all three of them to uh, Wayne Robertson, who uh, is the Tigers, of course, the, uh, the leader of the Tigers as far as passing is concerned. He had caught 30 passes for 462 yards and two touchdowns going tonight, and that adds another one. The preliminary indication, as we have gotten, it is a clip going to go against Union at the 21-yard line. So that will put the Redskins back deep in their own territory. First and 10 from their own 10-yard line. That'll put the uh, Redskins back deep. Now the Tigers' uh, defensive unit, if they can go to work and hold them, uh, we'll be in good shape. First and 10 from the 10-yard line. Payne will take. Pitch to Pearson, trying to get along the right side. Does get outside, goes down for a gain of about three, and that's it. Great defensive pursuit. That was number 15, uh, Chris Reisenhoover, uh, upsetting Pearson as he turned him a uh, flip-flop really in the air out to about the 12-yard line, maybe the 13. Pick up a three. Second down, seven. Clock running, 325. Split backs behind Payne. Veer to the uh, far side. Wing back reverse will go to Bailey. And that didn't fool the Tigers as Bailey will go down at the line of scrimmage. And that was Wayne Guthrie and Mike Reed coming up from the corner position to put the stop on uh, the wing back. And uh, as you say, Scott, they didn't fool the Tigers. They are well prepared for tonight's football game. I can attest to that. Third down, eight yards to go. Split receivers, one of them to, uh, one of them to either side. Bootleg uh, goes to Payne. Payne gets across the 25 to the, or, pardon me, to the 15 to the 16. We'll go down there, so Union will be forced to fund, and the Tigers will get it back probably in very, very good field position. And as Coach Cooper said, in all the game films he saw of Union, he never saw the Redskins have to punt, so this is going to be a new experience for him right here. All right. The punter is Vaughn, who does all the kicking chores. Good snap from center. There's the kick, and he can kick the ball. <laughs> yes, and Chase is rising. We're back to his own 35-yard line. He'll pick it up and go down right where he picked up the football at the 35. So that was about 33. That looks like about a uh, 48-yard punt. Uh, and as you say, he can kick the football. 48-yard <laughs> punt, two-yard return as they'll spot the football. First and 10 for Tahlequah at their own 36-yard line. Two minutes, 17 seconds remain here in the first quarter. The Tigers on top, 7 to nothing. Twin set comes to the near side, split backs behind Ray. First and 10. Ray makes the handoff. Wants to throw, does throw, and it is incomplete. Had a man, uh, that is Bowers, coming to the near side, overthrew him along that boundary. Had Robertson on a fly pattern, so they took some coverage off of him that time. So, clock stopped on the incomplete pass. Second down and 10. Actually, the pass was just way, way too high. Uh, Sam was pretty well in the open along the sideline. There was a defensive man playing off of him, but it wasn't anywhere as close to where he could bring that one in. Single setback, three receivers split to the far side. Pitch goes to Hannah, getting outside to the far side, up to the 50, will go down in Union's rescue in territory at the 49. 42, that's Neil Hope, the senior, who uh, brought Chris down after a a uh, beautiful pickup as, uh, again, a quick pitch to the outside, and uh, Chris just turned the corner. And any time the Tigers have turned the corner this year, Scott, we've noted they've made good yardage. First down and 10 yards to go for Tahlequah inside. Redskin territory at the 49. Twin set will come to the near side. A split receiver to the far side. Single set back once again. Ray will throw one first down. Looking to his right. His pocket collapse is complete at the 40-yard line. A great catch. He goes down right there. And that was Chris Reisenhoover who jumped up uh, in a crowd to bring that ball down. As you say, uh, John Ray was pressured out of the pocket, but he had the, uh, the uh, determination to stand right there until uh, Chris broke through the middle, and he completed it right down on the 40. Perfect strike to Chris Reisenhoover. About a yard short of the first down, second down and one. 
Twin set to the near side, split backs behind Ray. He will take inside handoff to Hannah, has the first down as he gets up to the 38-yard line. That's where he had to go. Well, he had to go to the 39. So he'll have the first down by more than a yard with uh, 55 seconds to play here in the first quarter. And Brian Prince, the linebacker there, uh, drug Chris down from behind, but the Tiger offense is well jailed right now, Scott. Reisenhoover will go out. Robbie Sunte into the football game. Twin set to the near side. Sunte split to the far side in the slot. Chris Hanna, the lone setback. Pitch goes to Hanna, trying to get outside and will not do it this time as he'll lose a couple of yards back to the 40. That was the uh, corner of the strong safety, Rick Vaughn, coming up, and also the defensive end, Joe Stagg, catching Chris in the backfield for a two-yard loss, as you say, and so it'll be the Tigers facing second and 12. Again, they're run, trying to run to the outside, Scott, with the quick pitch. They did that a little differently, though. They uh, split two men to the near side, and then only soon take to the far side, and they went to that far side, so they went against the weak side that time. <laughs> Second down, Ray throws a pass out to the 34-yard line. It is complete, and that is Sam Bowers, I believe, at the 35-yard line. And I believe that's going to be the end of the quarter, Scott, with that completion right out here at the 35. Yes, it is. We played one quarter here at Gable Field with the score, Tahlequah 7, Union nothing. Back with the second quarter in 40 seconds. Needing a new truck? Success Motor Company in Tahlequah now has over 35 new 84 and 85 model Chevy trucks in stock and 10 more new units are on the way. You'll find just what you need, size, shape, and color. Also ask about the money-saving Sequoia package that will provide you with very desirable accessories at a fraction of the cost. Success Motors, Tahlequah. Keep warm this winter economically with the Country Flame freestanding stove or fireplace insert from Northeastern Glass and Mirror, 701 South Muskogee and Tahlequah. They have a good selection of the famous Country Flame stoves and inserts and prices start from just $325. At Northeastern Glass and Mirror, suggesting you heat with wood this winter. Back to action. Uh, John Ray's pass is complete down to the 19-yard line. A great pass and a great catch for the Tigers to open the second quarter. And, Scott, that's another one of those perfect strikes as John just reared back and uh, stood right in the pocket and hit Sam Bowers right down there at the 18-yard line. The aerial attack for the Tigers is, has been, uh, it's a 19-yard line, excuse me, has been very, very effective. First down and 10 for the Tigers at the Redskin 19-yard line. Twin set to the near side, lone set back once again, that's Hannah. Wing back reverse goes to Reisenhoover, that didn't fool anybody, he has to cut back in and barely gets back to the line of scrimmage at the 19. Looks like he's going to be set up for no loss, as you say. Uh, the Redskin defensive ends were sitting there waiting on him. We, and, uh, and he made no gain. We've got an injured Redskin down on the field, so we have a break in the action with 11.27 to play before halftime. Tahlequah 7, Union nothing, back with more in 20 seconds. Sandra, we really care about you and your health. We really care about you, Sandra. Back at Gable Field, Scott Bettis along with Kelly Ross. Uh, we've yet to identify the Redskin who is down. That it looks like, uh, tell me who it is, Kelly. I can't Tony see Tony Snotty, 5'11", 220-pound senior linebacker. Uh, looks like an injury to his leg, uh, his right leg, as they're helping him off the field. It uh, doesn't look promising either. Is no, it he, he uh, having a lot of trouble getting off the field? 5'11", 220 pound senior linebacker, Tony Snotty. Reisenberg got back to the line of scrimmage at the 19. Second down, 10 yards to go. They wind the clock. 11 minutes, 23 seconds clock running here before halftime. The Tigers leading seven to nothing and have a good chance to score once again. Split backs, split receivers one to either side. Ray, option play, takes, goes straight up the middle, will pick up about three yards down to the 16 yard line and wrestle down there. That was Billy Gumby, the uh, nose guard, who just followed John right on down the line of scrimmage. He faked the first man through and then just followed right behind uh, Russell Boyd and Tuffy Thornton's lock, uh, but uh, Gumby was right there, racking him up. Something I might pass along too, Kelly, and uh, looking at some uh, statistics and things like that against Union, 
The only time they've been beaten this year was uh, against Stillwater. We indicated that at the free game show. That was a 21-17 score, but uh, Stillwater scored all of their points in the first half. So uh, that's interesting. The Tigers needing to get some more points on the scoreboard, and the Tigers want to take a timeout. 10 minutes, 34 seconds to play in the half before halftime. Tigers 7, Union nothing. Back with more in 40 seconds. Take part in the merriment of the Boar's Head Feast at Northeastern State University in Tahlequah, a festival for kings and queens. The court of King Henry VIII comes alive beginning November 29th. Reserve your tickets with the University Center Director at NSU. If you turkeyed out at Thanksgiving, then Racer's Discount Food Stores has you covered. One quarter sliced pork loin, just now $1.18 a pound. Eckrick smoked sausage, two oh nine a pound. Offer some tasty, juicy homemade hamburgers, family pack ground beef, 98 cents a pound. We think you'll love shopping Racer's. The stores are clean, the employees the friendliest, and the prices terrific. Racer's, your home-owned discount food store. Back at Gable Field, Scott Pettis and Kelly Ross, and we're ready to go. The Tigers have taken a timeout. They look at third down and seven to go from the 16-yard line. I don't think that uh, the timeout, Kelly, was taken because of uh, they didn't know what to do. I think they had taken a little bit too much time, and they didn't want to get that uh, delay of game penalty. Well, it also looked like as John Ray came up the line, uh, maybe Union had shifted their defense just a little bit that he wasn't really looking for as they now lined up, Scott, in a 4-4 defense, which is new to what they had been. Ready to throw on third down. Has a man open. It's incomplete down about the goal line. So the Tigers will look at fourth down and seven, and Crocker comes aboard to attempt a field goal. And that was Wayne Robertson who ran the, just to the sideline, and John Ray tried to hit him as uh, he just barely overthrew him. So as you say, Scott Crocker is aboard now to try a, a field goal of about, uh, looks like it'll be about a 32-yard attempt, certainly in uh, Scott's range. Rise over to hold. Ball right in the middle of the field, so Crocker couldn't have a better angle. Good snap, the ball is down. There's the kick, and it's up, and it is good! Barely, just barely, Scott. It looked like he was really struggling to get there, but it was right between the uprights, so the Tigers have three more on the board as Scott Crocker puts in a 34-yard uh, field goal. Tigers 10, Union nothing here in the second quarter. Well, keep it right here. Ten minutes, 29 seconds to play here before halftime, and the Tigers are tra leading 10 to nothing. I will correct myself. Uh, my spotter says, Mitch says that was only 32 yards field goal, but we'll take it just the same, Scott. Three that's points, right. three points. Three points, that's right. Crocker tees it up. Back deep to receive for the Redskins is Bailey along with uh, Cabinus. There's the kick. High, good kick will be taken by Cabinus at the five yard line, coming to the near side to the 10. Up to the 15, hit and will go down at the 20 yard line. For uh, Tahlequah, that was David Webb down there to make the stop. As uh, Scott, uh, you know, there's no way we can describe over the air the enthusiasm that these Tigers and the intensity in which they're playing this tonight's football game. Exactly they came right. to play to win. That's right. Split backs behind Payne. He'll take and give to his tailback. That's Pearson. Pearson up close to the 25-yard line, and he's met by a host of Tigers. Mike, Mike Reed leading the charge there for Tahlequah, and Chris Reisenhoover coming in to wrap him up after a gain of five yards. Second down and five from the 25. Split backs, receiver one of them split to the far side. Payne, option play, keeps himself, will go down at the 27-yard line, pick up of about two. So the Redskins looking at third down and about three yards to go. And that was Mike Welcher making initial contact. I think there's one thing in the Tigers' mind. They're not going to let Mitch Payne beat them. Anytime that he has that football, he's going to know it because the Tigers are ready for him. Third down and three. Split back, split receivers, one to either side. Payne will throw on third down. Looking to his left, throws to his left. And it's complete at the 35 out to the 40-yard line on a very, very nice-looking pass. And a pretty good catch. That was Pat Kinney, the big tight end, uh, six foot five, a nice big target, and he just stretched out all he had to uh, bring it down. Uh, and David Quentin was there finally to make the stop out on the 39 yard line. First and 10 from the 39. Payne will take. Pitts goes to Wilkerson, going to the far side. 
Wilkerson goes down at the 44. Pickup of about five. We'll call it second down at five. And interestingly enough, the uh, Redskins are averaging like 4.2 per carry uh, on rushing. So they're just about the average here so far tonight. Second down and five. Handoff inside goes to Keith Pearson. Pearson fights his way down to the Union 48-yard line. He'll be about a yard shy of the first down. Robert Carlisle and uh, Chris Risen, who were there to make the stop, just short of the necessary yardage for the first and ten. <laughs> I mean to tell you, Kelly, they, those Redskins come out of the huddle and boom, they're, they're in motion. Yes, they are. Goodness. Third down and one. Split backs. Payne takes. Pitches to Wilkerson. Going to the far side. Has the first down across midfield into Tiger territory at the 47. There was... Uh, at 24, Brett Webb was there to make the stop for Tahlequah. There was three white jerseys. That's the uh, red skin color out in front of that blocker, and uh, Brett just went between two of them to make the stop, but not before it had enough yardage for the first and 10. First and 10 from the Tigers, 47. Mitch Payne, the quarterback. Long count from center this time. Handoff goes inside. That's Wilkerson. Wilkerson up to the 45, maybe across the 45, but he only gained about three that time. You notice, uh, Scott, that Wilkerson has carried the ball about 5-1 to one over Pearson, who is, of course, their leading rusher for the season. It may be they're just uh, trying to lull us to sleep. Trying to set up something. Payne will throw on second down, looking to his right, throws to his right, and it's complete down at the 32-yard line. A tremendous catch there by the wide receiver. That was uh, Ken Bailey, yes, the flanker, okay? Ken Bailey, the flanker, who uh, was right there at the sideline, and a beautiful pass, and uh, as you say, a great catch. Enough for the first and ten. I thought he had overthrown his intended receiver. There were two of them out in that flat, and he overthrew one of them, but it was right in the hands of Ken Bailey. First and ten from the Tiger 31. Seven minutes, 41 seconds. Handoff goes to Pearson. Pearson, down to the 25, goes down hard right there. That's Derek Mix and uh, Wayne Guthrie making the stop. Derek coming in from his cornerback position. But uh, the uh, Redskin offense is beginning to start to move the football. Bailey splits to the far side, split backs behind Payne. Take and will pitch to Wilkerson, trying to get outside and breaks a tackle and will go down at the 24, 23 yard line. He was hit at the 25 and broke a tackle there, but uh, gained a couple of yards, will be about uh, two yards shy of the first down. That was Brad Matlock and uh, Brett Webb who finally wrapped him up. As you say, one Tiger had him, uh, but let him go, and that was Chris Eisenhoover, but these other two, uh, Matlock and Webb, are there to roll him up. Third down and two. Handoff inside goes to Wilkerson. Wilkerson uh, will not have the first down, I don't think. That was big Brian Hodge here to make the stop, and it looks like it's going to be very close. But, uh, no, it's not close enough even to measure. It's fourth down and one from the 22-yard line. And Union's going to go, to go for it right here. Fourth down and one from the Tiger 22. Can the Tigers do it again? This goes to Wilkerson along the left side, across the 20-yard line, down to the 18. He has the first down. Yes, he did. It was good wedge blocking there by the front line of the Redskins. Mike Abdu and uh, Brad Beam opened a big hole, and uh, Wilkerson just toted it right on down to about the 18-yard line, or it looks like they're spotting it on the 17 now. First and 10 for Union, 17-yard line. Payne will take and give to Pearson across the 15, down to the 10-yard line. Pick up a 7 on the play. That was Robert Carlisle and Mike Reed who finally wrapped him up, but not until he made a, a very good gain, as you say. He's down on the 10 as the Redskins have their first real scoring opportunity. Second down and three from the 10. Payne will take option play, keep it himself. Back down, will go down at the 12-yard line. And I thought I saw a flag, but I guess I'm seeing things. And that was... Uh, Number 10, Farrell Teehee, who came up and uh, caught him in the backfield for really about uh, a couple yards loss. Third down and five. Payne will take and give to Pearson. Pearson down across the 10 to the eight yard line. He'll be about a yard shy still. 
So that will bring up another fourth down uh, situation for Union. And the officials will take a timeout, and I think uh, Mitch Payne wanted, to do, wanted them to bring in the stakes. Ryan Hodge was there to stop Mitch. As you say, it's very close. Both of them are standing there to watch the measurement. This could be a very critical measurement for the Redskins, and it looks like Brian Hodge holding up his arm, saying that's not enough. About a yard shy, a little less than a yard. We'll call it about two feet. And once again, Union will go for it right here. Fourth down and less than a yard to go at the Tigers' seven-yard line. Tiger eight-yard line. Split backs behind Payne. He will take and give to Wilkerson. He is hit. Springs forward down to the five-yard line. The whole thrust of uh, the Tiger defensive line met him, but uh, he had enough momentum to carry him on down to the five. As you say, now the Redskins have first and goal to go at the Tiger five. Well, Tigers yeah. leading 10-0, though, Scott. William Wilkerson, the 5'11", 205-pound fullback. First and goal from the five. Payne takes, gives to Pearson, up to the five, down to the three-yard line. Just following the blocking there of Brian Grief and Scott Wainer. Down to the three. And Wayne Guthrie and uh, Brian Hodge closed in on him there before he was able to get in the end zone, but they are definitely knocking on the door. Spot the ball inside the three at the two. Second down and goal. Split backs. Handoff inside to Pearson. Touchdown, Union. Pearson just took the ball, came back over his uh, own right guard. That's Brian Grief, and it rolled right into the end zone. So the uh, Redskins are on the board now, 10 to 6, as they will be attempting the extra point. Tigers still on top. Rick Vaughn comes into it to attempt the point after. Payne will hold. Good snap from center. The ball is down. Kick is up, and it is good. Time on the field, 4.28 to play before halftime. Tigers 7, Redskins, excuse me, Tigers 10, Redskins 7. Back with more in 20 seconds. Participating in sports helps build character through facing strong competition and through good sportsmanship. You'll like the character of First National Bank. Each customer is treated with honesty and integrity. Build your future on good financial footing. Bank with the First National Bank of Tahlequah. They're a member of FDIC. Pong will tee it up for the Redskins as they have gotten on the scoreboard. And uh, what type of a drive was that, Kelly? Scott, they went 80 yards. It took them 18 plays, most all of it uh, on the ground. Well, they had two completed passes, very nicely completed passes, uh, but uh, they just grinded it out. Okay, Vaughn tees it up and will kick off following that touchdown. 10 to 7 our score, the Tigers are still on top. There's the kick, short kick will be taken at about the 17 yard line up to the 20, the 25 up to the 30 yard line, that's Reisenhoover. Reisenhoover will give the Tigers pretty good field position, first and 10 at the 30, well, 33 yard line. Chris Reisenhoover just took the ball, as you say, caught it on the run as it was a short kick. And uh, the Tigers are in possession at their own 33 with 4.14 left to play. Twin set to the far side, split backs behind Ray. First down and 10. Ray wants to throw on first down, hangs it up, and it is complete. Yes, it is, out about the 42-yard line to Sam Bowers, I believe. Yes, it is. Sam Bowers right there at the stake, and I believe it's going to be uh, close enough for a first and ten. It's right at the stake. They're moving them, Scott, first and ten. Nice catch by Sam. Tigers having excellent success there in the early going on those short patterns uh, along the boundary. First and ten for the Tigers at their own 43. Three minutes, 50 seconds, clock running here in the second quarter. S single setback behind Ray. He wants to throw again. Being chased, throws it away. And uh, looking back there at with quarterback John Ray, Kelly, there are four Union Redskins around him. That was Scott Warner, Brian Prince, uh, Tim Gray, and Tommy Kitchens, all four of them right there breathing on his neck. So uh, he was uh, did well just to get rid of that football. I don't think that was a screen. I think that uh, somebody's missed a couple of blocking assignments. Second down and 10 from the 43. Twin set to the far side, man split to the near side. Single setback, draw play, goes to Hannah, up to the 45. 
up to the 50, breaks a tackle to the 45, down to the 42-yard line. Number 10, Mitch says that's number 10, Farrell Teehee. And I think he's he normally been listed, maybe. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's right. what they say, Farrell Teehee. Backup quarterback, a third string quarterback, if yes, I'm not uh, yes, it mistaken. Is. Five nine, 145 uh, pounds, sophomore. Gives the Tigers the first down at the Union 42 yard line. Single set back again. Ray wants to throw, does throw, and it's incomplete, almost intercepted. That was almost dangerous as Ray had to throw probably about a second quicker than he wanted to. Pass incomplete, second down and 10. He was trying to hit uh, Wayne Robertson again, but uh, was well overthrown, and Scott with the uh, free, uh, corner over there just almost had that one. Clock stopped on the incompletion. Three minutes, 15 seconds to go. Second down and 10, single setback. Three receivers split to the far side. Ray wants to throw again. Drops straight back, throws. Pass is complete up to the 35, down to the 32-yard line. It's going to be close to another Tiger first down. That was uh, Chris Reisenhoover taking that pass right there at the sideline and curling right back into the flow of the traffic down to the 31. Scott, it's first and 10 for the Tigers. You know, Kelly Ross, you can't describe, as you said a while ago, what's happening out here. Uh, looking at that reception right there, Chris Reisenhoover took it, uh, took the reception, knew he was going to be hit, but somehow ran back towards the original line of scrimmage and looped back and picked up about 10 yards. First and 10 from the 31. Single set back, split receivers, three of them to the near side. Reverse goes inside to the 30, down to the 28-yard line. Uh, don't know who that was. That was Chris Reisenhoover taking the reverse, coming back up over center. Looks like he picked up about uh, three yards, Scott. Down to the 20, between the 29 and the 28-yard line. We'll call it second down, seven. Tigers would like to get another score on the, on the board before... We go into halftime, two minutes and 20 seconds remain. Second down, eight yards to go. Ray wants to throw on second down, does throw, he's hit hard, pass is complete at the 20 yard line. Down to the 19, the Tigers have another first down. And that's Wayne Robertson, he ran down just about uh, eight to 10 yards, ran the curl and there it was, perfect strike. John Ray under pressure, but he's throwing like a true champion, Scott. He, be, did, he did not flinch a bit. It's going to be interesting when we take a look at those statistics at halftime, how many passes uh, compared to rushes that the Tigers have. First and 10 at the Redskin 18-yard line. Two minutes to play here before halftime. Pitch goes to Tihi trying to get outside. Does get outside. Run out of bounds at the Redskin 13-yard line. Tihi just took the pitch, uh, as you said, a quick pitch right around that uh, right-hand side on the corner, and uh, he was run out of bounds over on the far side. We've got a timeout on the field. Tahlequah wants to take a timeout. One minute, 42 seconds to play before halftime. Tigers 10, Redskins 7, back with more in 40 seconds. Billy and Berriman Davis at the Tahlequah Nursing Home, as well as their staff and their residents, are behind the Tahlequah High School students all the way. As part of their participation, Tahlequah Nursing Home helps you to sponsor this broadcast in order that those who cannot attend the games may keep up with the team's progress. Cheers, Tigers. Go get them. Bill's Auto Parts, located 829 South Muskogee, has a Christmas special on Rally Poly Sealant One-Step Paste Wax. Regularly $4.77, now only $1.77. Motorcraft Spark Plugs are only $0.78. Cents. Open seven days a week, Bill's Auto Parts is getting in the Christmas spirit. Come in for savings. Bill's Auto Parts, located 829 South Muskogee. Back to action at Gable Field. Scott Bettis along with Kelly Ross and the Tigers. Looking at second down and five yards to go from the 13-yard line of Union. One minute, 42 seconds to play before halftime. The Tigers lead 10 to seven. Single setback once again. Receivers, three of them split to the far side. Handoff goes to Teehee once again. Down to the 10-yard line. The Tigers about two yards shy of the first down. Straight ahead dive uh, behind uh, the blocking of uh, Mike Welch, Russell Boyd. Pick up of uh, about two on the carry. Two or three, so it'll be about third and two. Third and two, same formation, single setback, split receivers, three of them to the far side. Handoff it goes to Teehee, same play. The Tigers have the first down, first and goal at the six yard line. 
And Scott, just as you uh, so adaptly put before the game started, it really doesn't make any difference how seasoned they are, or how big they are. The Tigers are running right at them, and they're making the yardage that uh, I think probably is surprising a great deal of people. Not the Tahlequah fans. That's right. They've watched them play. First and goal from the seven-yard line. Twins that to the near side. Ray wants to throw, does throw. Had a man open, it's incomplete in the end zone. Threw it about a second too late. I was watching uh, the receiver, that was Wayne Robertson. Yes. As he cut across the middle and he was open for uh, about a second and then raised pass about, as I said, a second too late. It's a good pattern as uh, you say. He just cut across, right across the middle of the field, but uh, John just didn't, didn't cock the trigger, uh, didn't shoot the trigger quite quick <laughs> enough. <laughs> second and goal from the seven. Single setback. Ray wants to throw again. Looking, throwing. It is complete at the one yard line. That's Chris Reisenhofer who made a beautiful low diving catch right there at the one as uh, it's right on the sideline. It's 43 seconds left to play here in the half with the clock running. Tigers want to take a timeout and they do. 38 seconds to play before the end of the first half. Tigers try uh, Tigers lead 10 to 7. They threaten once again. Stay with us, folks. We'll be back with more in 40 seconds. Six Killers Barbecue wishes the Tahlequah Tigers luck. Six Killers would also like to remind you to order your Christmas pies early. Cream pies, minced meat, pumpkin, apple, and cherry, and raisin are just a few of the pies that can be made exclusively for you. Six Killers, located at Grover's Corner south of Tahlequah, is open 11 till 8 Monday through Saturday. Don't forget to order your holiday pies from Six Killers. Ordering the perfect Christmas gift is easy with the new Sears Christmas Wish Book. Sears in Tahlequah has gifts that are just right for every member of the family. Order by December the 18th for delivery by Christmas at Sears. Back to action. Third down and goal from the one. We have a penalty marker that goes down and the officials come in. It's against Union as the Tigers jump back and we have a dead ball foul encroachment. They lined up off sides. Well, I was, you know, Scott, I was just afraid that might be something we saw a couple of weeks ago. Uh, Last week. Yeah, right. It could have hurt the Tigers right there, but in this case, it was their favor. Third down, goal to goal, less than a yard from pay dirt. The Tigers have 38 seconds. Third and goal, single setback. Ray he keeps. Touchdown, Tahlequah. Diggity dog, Scott. There he went. <laughs> right behind just took the snap, and Tuffy Thornton and Russell Boyd made a little wedge right there at the goal line. In the end, walked John Ray. Six more for the Tigers. That makes it 16 to 7 with 35 seconds, and Scott Carter will be on to add the extra point. Tell you what, the crowd's on its feet. So am I. Ray will hold for Crocker to attempt the point after. 35 seconds to play before halftime. Good snap from center. Ball is down. There's the kick. It's up and it is good. Time on the field. 35 seconds to play before halftime. Tigers 17. Union 7. Back with a kickoff in 20 seconds. Weather can be a killer. And nothing can be more frustrating than a dead battery. With a 60-month battery from Western Auto, you'll have maintenance-free starting power to spare. And the Western Auto 60-month battery is on sale now. Top or side terminals, all sizes available. At your Western Auto store, 7-Eleven South Muskogee in Tahlequah. Hey, gals, listen to this. Fells Family Shoe Store, downtown Tahlequah, is offering a super special on the entire stock of soft spots. Regularly priced at 46 now just $36 a pair. Hurry for best selection and save on the softest shoe in America. Soft spots now on sale, $36 a pair at Fells Family Shoe Store, Tahlequah. All right, we're set to go. Crocker approaches the ball. There's the kick. High kick and will be taken about the 32 yard line up to the 35. We'll go down to the 36. So it doesn't look to be any kind of a win, Kelly, but I'll tell you what, uh, both kickers so far tonight when they kick against uh, back to the north, it seems like the ball just hangs or something. I think Scott probably intentionally kicked that mud high to uh, prevent a long return by one of the uh, beat men for the Redskins because uh, they weren't anxious to let them get a run at it. Mitch Payne will throw on first down, rolling to his right, gets away, throws it, has a man open, and it is, it is complete down at the 20 yard line, Tigers go down, and either way you look at it, it's going to be right there, because I believe one of the Tigers interfered with the intended receiver. Yes, he did, Scott. Uh, 
he was beat uh, deep, and as he was able to recover, he bumped into the intended receiver, which, of course, he went ahead and was able to catch a football, so the uh, Redskins are going to have a chance at, uh, with 17 seconds left here, they're going to have the ball down here about the Tiger 20-yard line. That pass was thrown about 60 yards in the air. And that was Jimmy Lee, number 83, I believe. Yes, it was. Jimmy Lee, uh, the 6'2 senior who uh, caught the football. Uh, preliminary, the indication now is if, from the official is interference, interference against the Tigers. He declined, of course. And Union wants to take a timeout. 17 seconds to play before halftime. 17 to 7 our score. Tigers on top. We'll be back in 40 seconds. You just, you just can't, can't beat Whirlpool. Whether it's a washer, dryer, dishwasher, refrigerator, or freezer, visit Western Auto and check on Whirlpool. You'll like the design, the load maintenance, and best of all, the prices. At Western Auto, 711 South Muskogee in Tahlequah. Success Motors in Tahlequah presents the 85 Buicks, Buick Skyhawk and Skylark, Regal and Century, the full-size LeSabre and the stylish Riviera, and of course Electra with its special blend of luxury and performance. For your next new Buick, Pontiac, Chevy, or Olds, make it Success Motor Company in Tahlequah. Success Motor Company. 17 seconds before halftime, Tigers leading 17-7, to 7. Union threatening right here on that 45-yard pass completion down to the Tiger 19. Mitch Payne brings the Redskins up, split backs. Wants to throw again, looking to his right, throws it up, and it is incomplete in the end zone, double coverage down there. Uh, pass intended there for Jimmy Lee, the man who caught the pass just a little bit ago. That was Mike Reed down there, along with, uh, I believe, Derek Meg, yes, who were there to knock the pass away as they were going for broke. Second and 10 from the 19, 12 seconds for the eight. Split backs again, two receivers this time, split to either side, Payne will throw again. Looking up the middle, throws, and yes, intercepted at the 10 yard line, up to the 15, to the 20, and he'll go out of bounds. Hot dog, that's Brad Matlock, who stepped right in front of that Mitch Payne pass, and the Tigers have control, they've shut down another Union Redskin drive. So, the Tigers have two seconds. On the clock, they have the lead 17 to seven as they thwart another Union Redskin possible drive. Touchdown drive, that is. And the clock expires. The Tigers don't want to take a chance at uh, having something disastrous go wrong. So we played one half here from Gable Field and with our score, Tahlequah 17. Tulsa Union seven, we'll be back with the halftime show. Uh, Union won the opening toss elected to take their option in the second half, and that's what they're going to do. They're going to receive to open it up, and as we were talking with Jim Trickett, we know that uh, Union will be ready to play. I know they're going to come out probably, and as Coach Cooper said last week, uh, Union, all they do is just take it and try to run it down your throat, and that's probably what they're going to do. And you know for a fact that J.W. Emerson has told his senior bunch that it's either do or die because from here on out, you know, those seniors, uh, <laughs> You don't play uh, well enough to win, you get beat, and you go home, and you think about it for years to come. If, with, what if I'd done that? No tomorrow after tonight, Scott. It's the winner goes on and the loser goes home. And, uh, I, you know, as, as we indicated earlier, uh, I'm sure that the uh, results right now, particularly in the Tulsa metropolitan area, and, and, you know, I hate to be critical, but... Uh, uh, Tulsa has never seen fit to give any kind of media, and Tulsa has never seen fit to give much recognition to Tahlequah uh, over the many years that I've been involved in sports and athletics and anything, and uh, I'm sure they're going to question it when it comes over the wire that Tahlequah is ahead right now, making sure that they don't have the wrong seven on the wrong side of the board. But I can tell you, folks, it's 17-7 to 7 with the Tigers on top, but they've earned it all. And they are out there to try to keep it this second half. And there's no doubt about it. They deserve to be on top of yes, where they, they played do. in the first half. Okay, Scott Cocker will tee it up to begin mm -hmm. the third quarter. Union will receive and defend the south goal here at Cable Field. 17-7 to our score. The Tigers on top. There's the kick. It's a good kick. will be taken by 
Number 32, that is, well, I don't have him, up to the 20, across the 20 to the 22-yard line. That was Mike Cook, 5'8", 153-pound tailback. He's a junior. Bring it out across the 20 to the 22-yard line. First and 10 right there for Union. And here they come. Mitch Payne is still the quarterback. Wilkerson and Pearson. Handoff goes inside to Wilkerson, up close to the 24. It's about the 12. They'll mark it at the 24. Now, pickup of two, second down and eight. And Brian Hodge is the uh, big man coming up off the bottom of the stack. Oh, the Tiger, Tiger defensive unit has played well, Scott, this whole uh, football game. Two receivers, one split to either side. Split backs, handoff goes to Pearson. Pardon me, that is Wilkerson. Wilkerson run out of bounds after he picked up about four yards out to the 29-yard line. So Union will be looking at third down and a long three, maybe four yards to go. And there was a, really a whole pursuit of Tigers after him uh, with uh, Hannah, Hannah making the final stop there at about the 28. Third down and four yards to go from the 28. Payne wants to throw, being chased out of the pocket, coming to the far side, gets away, has a first down to the 35, to the 40, across the 40, to the 42-yard line, and he fumbled the football. The Tigers say they have it, but I believe he's going to be marked down. Yes, they've called the ball dead. It'll be more than enough for a first and 10, as Mitch Payne uh, was kind of forced out of his pocket, and when he took to the far side of the field, he had a lot of running room. First and 10 yards to go for the Redskins at their own 43-yard line. Split backs. Payne takes. Pitches to Wilkerson coming to the near side. Cuts up field. Ooh, to midfield. To the 45. He's in the open to the 40. Breaks the tackle. 30. 20. He's going to go. 10-5. Touchdown, Union. That's uh, 57 yards as Wilkerson just took the pitch. Cut uh, to his left and ran right down the sideline. One, a couple of the Tigers had a shot at him out here about the 25. They uh, were unable to hold onto him, and uh, Wilkerson toted that ball 57 yards, putting uh, seven more points on the board for Union. So that'll make it 17-13 as they attempt the extra point with 10-51 here in the third quarter. Rick Vaughn comes in to, to attempt the point after. He's late coming on. Payne will hold. Ten minutes, 51 seconds to play here in the third quarter. Union has cut the Tiger gap now. Rick Vaughn, straight ahead kicker, something you don't see very much of anymore. That's true. Good snap from center, ball is down. There's the kick, it's up, it's good. Time out on the field, 10.51 to play in the third quarter. Tahlequah 17, Union 14, back with a kickoff in 20 seconds. If you turkey it out at Thanksgiving, then Racer's Discount Food Stores has you covered. One quarter sliced pork loin, just now $1.18 a pound. Eckrick smoked sausage, $2.09 a pound. Offer some tasty, juicy homemade hamburgers, family pack ground beef, 98 cents a pound. We think you'll love shopping Racer's. The stores are clean, the employees the friendliest, and the prices terrific. Racer's, your home owned discount food store. 78 yards on four plays, Scott, is all it took the uh, Redskins to score there, and that brings the score to Tahlequah 17 and Union 14, as we have 10.51 showing on the uh, third quarter of the score four clock. Okay, Vaughn tees it up, and we'll kick off for the Redskins. Back deep to receive is Hannah, along with Robertson and Reisenhoover. 10.51 to play, Tigers up by three, 17-14, there's the kick will hit at about the 15-yard line. That's Robertson. He'll take it. Cut back up to the 16 and falls down at the 16-yard line. So I was one yard all uh, Wayne was able to return after he kind of fumbled the ball <clears throat> as it came to him. And uh, by that time he picked it up, there was good pursuit coverage by the Redskins. The Tigers will take over first and 10 on their own 17. Twin set will come to the near side, pardon me. Receivers, two of them split to either side now. Split backs behind Ray, the quarterback. He will take, handoff inside, and he's hit. That is Hannah. Hannah hit right at the line of scrimmage and goes down. Yes, that was Gumby there, the uh, nose guard who just stood right straight up as Chris Hannah came head on, and he was met right at the line of scrimmage, no gain. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball in the middle of the field at the 17-yard line. Split back, split receivers. Ray wants to throw on second down. 
does throw, throws it out, and it is incomplete at about the 29-yard line. Sam Bowers, the intended receiver, but the throw was a little bit down low into the dirt, and Sam was unable to come up with it. So that will bring up a third down and 10 situation for the Tigers, and uh, I don't, uh, can't remember the Tigers punting only but one time so far, Kelly. One time. And it was 11 yards or that something. That is correct. Okay. Single setback behind Ray. Three receivers split to the far side. Pitch goes to Hannah, going to that far side. Gets outside to about the 22-yard line. He needed to get a little bit more outside as he cut back up and was tripped up at the 22. Three of the Tiger blockers were out there, but there was about five of the white jersey Redskins out there to stop Chris, and uh, he picked up, as you say, only five. Fourth down and five. Crocker comes in to kick it away for the Tigers. Back deep to receive will be Bailey along with Long. They're standing back at about their own 45-yard line. Good snap from center, no rush. Crocker gets it away. This is a better kick. That will be fair caught at the 42-yard line by Brent Long. So the Redskins will have it first and 10 at their own 42-yard line with nine minutes and 22 seconds to work with here in the third quarter, trailing 17-14 crowd is coming alive for both teams as the possession exchanges. You can hear each other's crowd coming alive, and that's the Union Redskins. Split backs behind Mitch Payne, the quarterback. He'll take and give to Wilkerson. Straight handoff inside up to the 20, or the 45-yard line, and we'll go down right there. Brian Hodge here to make the stop right on the, looks like right on the 45. Pick up of three, as you say, second and seven. Coming to the near side, number 28, that is Ken Hopkins. Pitch goes to Wilkerson, flags go down. Wilkerson gets outside, crosses midfield to the Tiger 48. As we said, there is a flag down. I believe we're going to have a legal procedure penalty that will go against Union as we see flags on both sides of the football. Big Brian Hodge is there conferring with the official. A legal procedure, preliminary indication against Union. Uh, Wilkerson got right where he had to go for the first down, so the Tigers undoubtedly will take the penalty to back uh, Tulsa Union back up to the 40-yard line. You know, Scott, this has really been an er uh, error-free football game from the standpoint of penalties. Both teams are very sharp. Of course, I know that... Uh, you would really expect that from... Uh, oh, they haven't moved the ball yet. They haven't moved the ball, and Union came out and was ready to snap it. They haven't moved the ball. Huh. All right. Second down and seven yards to go. They're going to replay the down. Pitch goes to Pearson across the 45 to the 46-yard line. And uh, the preliminary indication, Kelly, as we saw it, was a legal procedure against uh, Union. So I don't know what happened. There must that would have had to be an offsetting penalties for it to remain the same down in the same yeah. position. Yeah. Anyway, third down and six yards to go. Payne wants to throw. Flags go down once again, and they'll stop the play right here. And we'll have to wait and see. Preliminary indication, dead ball foul. Encroachment against the Tigers. So, evidently one of the Tigers lined up offsides that time. So that will put the football across midfield, just, just inside Tiger territory. We'll be looking at third down and about one yard to go for the first down for Tulsa Union. That's only the second penalty on the Tigers tonight. Veer set behind Payne. He'll take and pitch to Wilkerson coming to the near side. Cuts up to the 45 as the first down at the Tahlequah 45-yard line. Robert Carlisle and Brian Hodge are to make the stop, but the Redskins, they now have the ball in Tiger territory on the Tiger 45. The Tigers lead 17-14 with eight minutes on the scoreboard clock. Once again, split backs. Handoff goes inside to Pearson. Pearson down close to the 40-yard line. He'll be shy of the 40 by about two yards. Pick up a three, second down and seven. It kind of sounds redundant, it really is, because <laughs> Union just will take it and come up the middle a couple of plays and pitch it and go wide and then come back and go up the middle, so. 
There's Brad Matlock there to make the stop for the Tigers. And they're very effective at it. Bain, bootleg, coming to the near side, cuts up his side to the 40, to the 35, and goes down right there. Just across the 35 is where he had to go for the first down. I believe he got it. Fred Webb making the stop for the Tigers. But notice there the uh, pulling guard, Brian Griff, uh, just completely uh, knocked the Tiger corner man completely out of the play, may, making it uh, able for Mitch Payne to turn up field for the first and 10. Now they're still waiting. They have not set the chains as of yet. Now here they go. That was enough for the first down at the just inside the Tiger 35-yard line. Seven minutes, 22 seconds to play. Tigers leading 17-14. Pitch goes to Wilkerson coming to the near side. Across the 30-yard line to the Tiger 29. Pickup of about five, second down and five. Robert Carlisle was there to make the stop. He had help by, from John Tolliver as the uh, Redskins now began to just grind out the uh, yardage, Scott, right on down the field, four and five at a carry. Payne will take. Hand off to Pearson across the 25, down to the 24. That's enough for another first down, I believe. Derek Meggs there for the stop of Tahlequah. Uh, the defensive unit now needs to tighten up their belts. Tulsa Union just lining up and saying, stop me if you can. And Tigers, as Kelly said, need to tighten their belts right here. First and 10 from the Tiger, 24. Payne, bootleg again, going to the far side this time, has a couple of blockers out to the 20. We'll go down at the 20-yard line. Penalty markers are down and back at the 24. That was Derek Meggs there that uh, grabbed hold of Payne as he came around the corner. It looks like clipping is going to be called against Union, however. That helps. That'll be a big 15 yard there. Setting them back up to about the uh, 40 yard line. One of the officials coming to the near side to tell Coach Emerson along the way what happened. And yes, indeed, that's what it's going to be. Probably a crackback block. I, I would expect, I would suspect that also. Since it was right out there on the uh, end. <coughs> it is a clip against Tulsa Union that will back the Redskins back to their own to the Tiger 39 yard line keep the down first and about 26 yards to go for the first down Payne wants to throw on first down airs it out has a man open and it is complete at the 10 yard line that was number 26 there Kim Bailey he he ran uh, a pattern that he first cut toward the middle of the field, and then he cut back outside. And as he made his final cut, uh, Mitch Payne laid it up in the air. Beautiful catch down there, nice pass. And we'll give the Redskins first and 10 from the Tiger 11-yard line. Bailey. Ken Bailey, the receiver on that pass. This goes to Wilkerson to the near sideline. Caught from behind, breaks the tackle, out of bounds at the five. And I'll tell you what, Kelly, Ross, they just line up and pitch it, and that 205-pound uh, fullback just rambles. Right straight ahead, around the end, or just anywhere where he gets a little bit of daylight. He's a hard, hard runner. Bailey will split to the far side, split backs behind Payne. He will take, give to Pearson. Up and over to the five-yard line. Penalty markers go down once again. Still waiting to see what we're going to have. The penalty marker was from the line judge, and we have got a penalty that will be assessed against the Tigers. I missed the preliminary indication. I just caught the final part of it where the official Don Wofford pointed to the Tigers. So that will put the football down to the three yard line. Second down and about two yards to go for the first down. The Redskins can get a first down without, without scoring. He never did give a, the signal again, Scott. I believe his face mask, however. Handoff goes to Wilkerson, barrels over for a touchdown. Right straight ahead, he went behind his blocking uh, guard, Brad Beam and Mike Abdu, uh, for three yards and uh, another score. Now the Redskins have gone out on top for the first time, 20 to 17.
We have 6.07 remaining in the third quarter, and they're in to try for the extra point. Out of the hold of Mitch Payne will be Rick Bond. So as Kelly said, for the first time tonight, Tulsa Union leads. Ball is down. There's the kick. It's up and through. 6.07 to play with the score. Union 21, Tahlequah 17. Back with the kickoff in 20 seconds. Keep warm this winter economically with a country flame freestanding stove or fireplace insert from Northeastern Glass and Mirror, 701 South Muskogee and Tahlequah. They have a good selection of the famous country flame stoves and inserts and prices start at just $325 at Northeastern Glass and Mirror, suggesting you heat with wood this winter. So, Mr. Moe has changed, Kelly, and uh, Tulsa Union has come out with 14 points here in the third quarter, and only five minutes and 53 seconds have been played. Right, they uh, only took uh, 12 plays to go 58 yards, so they've gone 58 and 57 yards in two successive series for two touchdowns to take the lead. Vaughn will kick off and does. Good, high, driving kick, chases Hannah back to the three, up to the 15. He fumbled the football, but got it back, and out to the 19, to the 20-yard line. As you say, Chris, uh, Hannah and Wayne Robertson kind of ran together back there trying to field the kickoff, and uh, finally Chris, Hannah was able to pick it up, carried it back to the 19, so the Tigers are down deep again in their territory, starting off this second series of the second half. Five minutes, 50 seconds, clock running here in the third quarter. Union on top for the first time, 21-17. Split backs behind Ray. He wants to throw on first down. Does throw, and it's intercepted at the 30-yard line, up to the 20. That was uh, intercepted there by the free safety. 20. That is Bill Cherry. So Cherry returns it back to the line of scrimmage, which is the 20, and Union has another chance to lengthen its lead here in the third quarter. As you say, Scott, the old big mole is... Okay, wait a minute. Oh, there's a penalty. We do have a penalty. Defensive holding is going to be called on the Redskins. We're waiting to see if it occurred after the... after the interception was made or not, and it looks like the Union offense will stay on and the Tiger defense will... Come on. Possession is going to be for Union... It is holding against the Redskins, so back them up to the 30-yard line. 10-yard holding penalty, first and 10 from the 30-yard line. Bailey splits to the far side, split backs behind Payne. We've got uh, whistle and no flag. I don't know why they stopped the play. The officials stopped the play. They're going to confer just a little bit here. Well, maybe they should have... Uh, Oh, he hadn't picked his flag up, Scott. That's what it was. Okay. Can't play without a flag. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, first and 10 from the 30-yard line. I think we're ready to go now, folks. Bailey switch to the far side, split backs. Payne gives to Pearson. Gets outside. Goes down for a gain of about three yards, down to the 26, maybe the 27. Rising Hoover there to make the stop for the Tigers, but... Uh, Union now has, has put out a relentless running attack against the Tiger defensive unit. Second down, seven. Behind Keith Pearson's three-yard gain. Pitch goes to Wilkerson coming to the near side. Being chased will go down for a loss. Back to the 28-yard line. Loss of about one for William Wilkerson. And that was big Mike Welch there breaking through to... Uh, Kept Wilkinson back in his own backfield for a loss, and that's one of the very few losses that the Redskins have suffered tonight uh, by the running backs. Very important third down play right here. Third down, eight yards to go from the 28-yard line. Split backs, Bailey split to the far side. Payne fumbles the exchange, picks it up, wants to throw, rolling to his right, does throw, hangs it out there, and it's incomplete as he threw it out of bounds. So that will bring up fourth down and eight yards to go from the 28-yard line, and we'll have to wait and see what Coach Emerson will do right here. That would be, if he'd go for a field goal, Scott, it would probably be, what, about 45? Somewhere, I doubt they're going to try that. Anyhow, Union will take a timeout and discuss things. With 4.18 to play in the third quarter, 
Union 21, Tahlequah 17, back with more in 40 seconds. Sundrug is more than pleased to sponsor Tahlequah High School football. We at Sundrug believe, as parents, teachers, and coaches do, that this is one of the several methods helpful in developing the total person. We encourage each student to strive for excellence. Sundrug, striving for excellence in your health care. Take part in the merriment of the Boar's Head Feast at Northeastern State University in Tahlequah, a festival for kings and queens. The court of King Henry VIII comes alive beginning November 29th. Reserve your tickets with the University Center Director at NSU. Back at Gable Field, Scott Pettis along with Kelly Ross. And Union has taken a timeout. They're ready to go. They will go for it on fourth down and eight from the 28-yard line. Payne will throw. Straight drop back. Looking to his left. Throws. Has a man open, and it's incomplete. Batted away on a great defensive play right in the corner of the end zone. Wayne Robertson was right back there, and he jumped uh, just as the ball was coming down to the intended receiver and knocking the ball away. So the Tigers will take over uh, possession on their own 28-yard line, trailing 21 to 17. Tigers need to score quickly right here. They don't need to score quickly, but a score would be awfully good. Four minutes, 12 seconds to play here in the third quarter. Single set back behind Ray. He will give to Hannah up inside to the 35, pick up a seven. Second down and three behind the blocking there of his guard and tackle on the left side. That's Wesley Dukes along with Chuck Perkey. Tim Gray there to make the stop for the Redskins, but as you say, uh, uh, Chris Hanna picked up seven on that carry. Looks good to see the Tigers get some big yardies here. Second down, three yards to go. Single setback once again. That's Hanna. Three men split to the far side. And we've got penalty markers that will go down. Two of the Redskins jumped on along this near side. So I believe we're going to have an offside penalty that will be assessed against the Redskins, which will be enough for a first down. And yes, indeed it is. Yes, it is. As we say, uh, it had been a fairly penalty-free <laughs> game, and now we've already had about four penalties in this third quarter. So they move the football out to the Tahlequah 40-yard line. The Tigers will have it first and 10 from that spot. Twin set will go to the far side. Split backs behind John Ray. He will take, fake a handoff, wants to throw, does throw, and it is complete to Sam Bowers across midfield to the 47-yard line in Redskin territory. Sam Bowers made an excellent catch. Uh, he had a defensive man just all over him, and that was the... Uh, 42, Neil Hope, who's coming off the field right now. Looks like he maybe has an injured arm. Uh, Sam really uh, came down with the football, though. Uh, first and 10 for the Tigers. First down, 10 yards to go in Redskin territory at the 47. Single setback. That's Hannah along. Now we have three men split to the far side. The officials have taken a timeout to let Mr. Hope get uh, to his bench. First down, 10 yards to go from the 47. We're set to go. Three minutes, 20 seconds, clock running here in the third quarter. Union leading 21 to 17. Single setback. Three men split to the far side. Handoff goes to Hannah. Counterplay. And Hannah will pick up only a yard as he got to about the 46 yard line and will go down in the arms of a host of Redskins. Led by Billy Gumby, the nose guard. As you say, pick up of one. Tigers with the ball on the 46 yard line of the Redskins and we have 2.48 on the scoreboard clock. We've got either official's timeout too, Kelly, as one of the Redskins came to the near side. And number 42, Neil Hope, goes back in. Okay, that was the linebacker. Brian Prince had a problem with uh, his helmet, I guess. Anyhow, well, we're ready to go, I guess. Single set back again. Twin set to the near side. Man split to the far side. Ray wants to throw, does throw. It's complete at the 30. That's right, the Luger breaks the tackle down inside the 30-yard line to the 27. Brian Prince making the stop, but Chris Reisenhoover made an excellent jumping catch, and as he caught it, he was right by the corner man of the uh, Redskins. 
and he broke down down the field. There's only one man left to stop him, and Brian Prince was able to bring him down, but the Tigers are down on uh, the 27-yard line of the Redskins. First down, 10 yards to go for the Tahlequah Tigers. Robertson will split to the far side. Bowers to the near side, split backs. Fake play action pass is complete out along the boundary along the left side to Wayne Robertson, I believe, at the 20 yard line. And uh, Scott, I'm sure uh, the play was designed to go to Wayne Robertson because Chris Sam broke right straight down the middle toward the goal line and there was nobody there except Chris Sam. But uh, John had already let the ball go out there to Wayne Robertson who, uh, as you say, caught the pass down low, and uh, so it'll be a Tiger ball, second and about three. Single setback, three receivers split to the far side, handoff goes to Hannah inside, down close to the first down, as he's across the 18 to the 17-yard line, and he had to go to that 17-yard line marker. Tommy Kitchens and Billy Goomby there to make the stop, but not before Chris Hannah picked up the first and 10, and we're falling apart up here. <laughs> First down, 10 yards to go for the Tigers at the 17-yard line. One thirty-five. the clock running, the Tigers trailing, but they're having a chance. Single setback once again. Ray, straight draw back, wants to throw, does throw, and he overthrows his intended receiver, probably a good thing. That was Reisenhoover in the middle, and... Three, re three defenders were around Chris Reisenhoover right there. Yes, they were. They had him covered well, and uh, as you say, John Ray really overthrew him, and I think probably intentionally because uh, there's not much chance that Chris was going to be able to come down with it. Clock stopped on the incomplete pass. One minute, 23 seconds here remain in the third quarter. Tigers trail for the first time this evening, 21-17, but they're in a, possession to or in a position to make a threat right now. Two receivers split to the near side, single setback. Ray wants to throw again. Will throw out and is complete at the seven yard line and the receiver that is Sam Bowers goes back to the 11 yard line but they'll have to give him his forward uh, progress which is the eight yard line. It's about uh, nine yards on the, on the pickup there, Scott, as uh, the Tigers are continue to run the little sideline pattern. The Sam Bowers just Went to the sidelines. John Ray raised up and hit him. Third down. A little more than a yard to go as they spot the football at the eight-yard line. Clock running with 45 seconds. Single setback. Three receivers split to the near side. Ray will take. Hand off to Hannah, and he's hit and will go down, and he'll lose about a yard back to the nine-yard line. That was Billy Cherry kind of running a red dog out of the uh, free safety position and he uh, dropped Hannah for a yard loss back to the nine. And So that may be the final play. I think maybe Coach Cooper is the clock showing 13 seconds. The Tigers do not need to run a play. I think Coach Cooper may want to talk to John Ray on the switch of the play. The Tigers will go for it. And we played three quarters here from Gable Field with the score, Tulsa Union 21. Tahlequah 17, back with the final quarter of play in 40 seconds. First National Bank of Tahlequah now offers first-person parking. Free parking to first national customers in the parking lot located across from Reed Cover. Place your first national key insignia sticker on the left side of your car's rear window. It will entitle you to free short-term parking for banking and shopping downtown. First-person parking from First National, member FDIC. Billy and Verman Davis at the Tahlequah Nursing Home, as well as their staff and their residents, are behind the Tahlequah High School students all the way. As part of their participation, Tahlequah Nursing Home helps you to sponsor this broadcast in order that those who cannot attend the games may keep up with the team's progress. Cheers, Tigers. Go get them. Back at Gable Field, Scott Bettis along with Kelly Ross, where they put 12 more minutes back on the clock. And that's going to be the final 12 minutes for one of these two teams as... The Tahlequah Tigers have taken a timeout to open the final period. I know Coach Cooper wanting to talk with uh, John Ray. Tigers looking at fourth down, about two yards to go from the nine-yard line. And very important fourth down. A field goal would uh, do some good. However, the Tigers would still be trailing by a point anyway, 21-20, if they should opt to go for a field goal right here. We're going to keep it right here at Gable Field with the score 21-17, Tulsa Union 
in front following those 14 third quarter points that they put on the scoreboard. 21-17 is our score. And John Ray will stay in the football game. The Tigers will go for it. Fourth down and two yards to go from the nine-yard line. Tulsa Union coming out in a 5-2 defense as they have been all night long. And this could be the play of the ball game right here. Single setback. Ray bootleg being chased. Down to the 10, to the 9, to the 8. Did he make it? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see where they spot the football. Had to go to about the 7, Scott, and I believe he made it down to about the 6. So now they're going to set it back, right? He went out of bounds right at the stake, it appears. No, it depends on how far they can stretch that stake out. It's going to be awfully close. It's right on that left boundary, or the far boundary, where they had the... They stretched the chains out, and they spotted the football as he went out of bounds. We've got to wait and see. As close as they're looking, it would almost be a bad sign. Because all this, yes, he's got he, it. The Tigers have beat it. Boy, just by the nose, uh, Union boys aren't too happy with the decision, but uh, nevertheless, it stands. The Tiger, the nose of the football just barely touched the stake. John Ray picks it up. First and ten, first and goal now for the Tigers on the seven. First and goal from the seven yard line, 11.54 to play. Single set back again. Three receivers will split to the near side, which is John Ray's left. Hannah, the only setback behind Ray. He will take, give to Ray. Excuse me, Hannah. Hannah takes the touchdown. Beautiful, touch down. beautiful, oh, yeah. beautiful play as Chris Hannah, the only, as you say, the only setback was uh, come right out of the middle of the backfield, right up through the middle of the line. Tuffy Thornton, Russell Board, and Mike Wells cleared a hole that a truck could have gone through, as I think uh, Union must have expected something to the wide side of the field because no linebacker was even over there when they crossed the goal line. The Tigers are up on top. Scott Crocker comes in to attempt the point after. Out of the hold of Chris Eisenhoover. Good snap from center. The ball is down. There's the kick. It's up, and it is good. Time out on the field. 11.50 to play. Our score, Tahlequah 24, Union 21. Back with the kickoff in 20 seconds. Bill's Auto Parts, located 829 South Muskogee, has a Christmas special on Rally Poly Sealant One-Step Paste Wax. Regularly $4.77, now only $1.77. Motorcraft spark plugs are only $0.78. Cents. Open seven days a week, Bill's Auto Parts is getting in the Christmas spirit. Come in for savings. Bill's Auto Parts, located 829 South Muskogee. Okay, we're back here at Gable Field, and 11.50 to play. The Tigers have regained the lead, 24 to 21. 12 plays, Scott. The Tigers went uh, 72 yards for the score that time. Okay. Chris Hanna carried it in from seven yards out. So, Cocker will tee it up and kick it away for the Tigers. Does high kick will be taken at the 10-yard line. That is Bailey up to the 20, to the 25, across the 30-yard line to about the 32-yard line. That was number 30. Eight. David Quentin there was on the tackle, and number 30, uh, who is David Webb. So the Tigers are on top now, 24-21, with 11.38 remaining. First and 10 from the 31-yard line. Payne pitches to Wilkerson, going to the far side, breaks the tackle, gets outside to the 40, across the 40 to the 43-yard line, has the first down. And I'll tell you what, that youngster gets outside and just kind of lopes along and breaks a couple of tackles and runs over some people. And he picked up about 10 right there. Chris Reisenhoover knocking him out of bounds finally right up there about the 41-yard line, as you say, a pickup of 10 yards, just exactly enough for the first and 10. At the 42-yard line, hash mark to the far side. It's first down and 10 for Union. Handoff goes to Pearson. Breaks that side, breaks the tackle, cross midfield to the 40, breaks the tackle there to the 35, to the 30, and goes down in Tiger territory at the 30-yard line. Mark Reed, or Mike Reed finally bringing him down at the uh, Tiger 30. There's a, a beautiful run of 28 yards by Mr. Pearson, and the uh, Redskins are just right back to uh, knocking on the Tiger's door. Bailey will split to the far side, and... 11 minutes, five seconds, clock running here in the final period. Tigers leading 24-21.
Payton will take and give to Pearson. Breaks a tackle across the line of scrimmage to the 25, down to the, about the 21-yard line, to the tw about the 22-yard line is where they'll spot the football. A couple of yards short of the first down, second down and two. Some fine trap blocking up there in the line for the Redskins, and uh, Chris Ridenhoover had to come up to uh, bring him down. Payne takes, pitches to Wilkerson, going sweeping to the far side. Is hit at the 20-yard line. That's where he had to go for the first down. It's going to be close. Looks like they're going to try to measure, Scott. Uh, it's right, as you say, right there at the 20. A whole host of the Tigers uh, right side of the defensive line and uh, linebackers were there to make the stop. But now the officials have moved the chain, says it's first and 10. First and 10 for Union at the Tiger 21-yard line, excuse me, 20-yard line. Payne will take, give to Wilkerson, hit at the line of scrimmage, and will fall forward for a pickup of about two yards. And that just goes to show you how powerful that fullback is. He was hit at the line of scrimmage and somehow got two yards out of it. That was Brian Hodge to make the stop, and uh, big Brian Hodge, as you know, is a pretty good-sized lad, about 240, and Wilkerson did kind of bowled him over. Second down, eight. Hand off goes to Pearson again. Breaks a tackle across the 15, down to the 13-yard line. Pardon me, that was Pearson, I believe, that time, number 34. And uh, we must say, Scott, that the uh, running attack of the Redskins was everything that it was built up to be. They've got a fine running attack, two excellent running backs. Couldn't agree with you more. Clock running, 9.35 to play, split backs. And off goes to Wilkerson. He has the first down across the 10-yard line, down to the nine. So that will give the Redskins first and goal from the nine-yard line. Robert Carlisle, the linebacker there, to uh, finally make the stop, but not before he put her down to the nine, where the uh, Redskins will have first and goal. Bailey switched to the far side, split backs behind Payne. He will take, give to Pearson, touchdown! Tulsa Union. Right straight ahead again. Good trap blocking up in the middle, and uh, Pearson just took the ball nine yards, went right straight ahead, and scored for the Redskins. So Rick Vaughn will come on to attempt the point after, and this looks like it may be one of those ball games where the person or the team who has the football last could go home with a victory. Payne will hold at the 10-yard line. Ball is down. There's the kick. Up and it is no good. He missed it. Wide right. So, time out on the field. 9-19 to play. Our score, Union 27, Tahlequah 24. Back with more in 20 seconds. Six Killers Barbecue wishes the Tahlequah Tigers luck. Six Killers would also like to remind you to order your Christmas pies early. Cream pies, minced meat, pumpkin, apple and cherry, and raisin are just a few of the pies that can be made exclusively for you. Six Killers, located at Grover's Corner south of Tahlequah, is open 11 till 8 Monday through Saturday. Don't forget to order your holiday pies from Six Killers. And we're back here at Gable Field. Scott Pettis along with Kelly Ross. Our score, well, Union 27, Tahlequah 24. That was 69 yards on eight plays for the Redskins to score, Scott. They're moving up and down the field, and so are the Tigers. Vaughn will kick off and does. Good, high, driving kick will chase Hannah back to the three-yard line, up to the 10, to the 15, out in the open to the 30, down at the 33 to the 34-yard line. So a good return for Chris Hanna. That was that behind that Tiger wedge right up the middle of the field. And as Chris, as you say, picked it up at about the three or four and brought it out 30 yards. And he was stopped there by uh, the corner 26, I believe. That's 46, yeah. First and 10 for the Tigers at their own 34-yard line. Single setback. Pitch goes to Hannah. Outside to the 35, to the 40. Fumbles the football, I think. No, he didn't. Okay. I saw something flying around. I thought it was a football. Anyway, they swapped the football at the 45-yard line. My apologies. Out of bounds at the 45. That stops the clock with 8.53 to play, and enough for the first down. Tiger 45. And Chris just took the pitch and went wide right, and uh, as you say, he picked up 11 yards on the carry. We've do some hard running on our own, Scott. That's right. Single set back once again. Ray will take and give to Ryzen, or excuse me, Hannah once again. He's across the line of scrimmage 
Down to about the 47, pick up of two, second down and eight. And the nose guard, Billy Gumby, there to uh, stop Chris after a pickup of only two yards. The uh, Tigers, of course, uh, are trailing 24 to 27. They do have possession, eight minutes and a half left to now play in tonight's football game. And as you say, the one that has it last may be the one that keeps going. Twin set to the near side, split backs behind Ray, the quarterback. He will take and wants to throw, will throw. Pass is incomplete along the near boundary here. Pass intended for Wayne Robertson, underthrown. That was a little bit, as you say, a little bit low and into the dirt. He tried to make a diving catch, but couldn't get back to it quite. So we'll have third and eight now. Third down, eight yards to go from the 47 yard line. Eight minutes, 14 seconds to play in the football game. Clock stopped on the incomplete pass. Three receivers will split to the far side. Single setback, that is Hannah, behind quarterback John Ray. He will throw, straight drop back. Looking, throwing, incomplete, oh. as the receiver fell down, coming across the middle. So the Tigers will be forced to kick it away. 8.09 to play here in the football game. That was Wayne Robertson, the intended receiver, but uh, <coughs> John was not able to hook up with him that time. Scott Crocker's aboard. Back deep to return is Ken Bailey along with Brent Long. <clears throat> Crocker is in, standing about his 32-yard line. Good snap from center. No, very, not very much of a rush anyway. Gets the kick away. Good kick. Fair catch called for and taken by Bailey at the 23-yard line. So the Redskins will take over with eight minutes to play and a three-point lead, 27 to 24. That was a 34-yard punt uh, by Scott Crocker. Uh, of course, no return on the fair catch, so the Redskins are back in possession of the football. Split backs behind Payne. He'll take and give to Pearson. Pearson across the line of scrimmage, out across the 25 to the 28-yard line. He picks up about five on the play. Second down and five. Just straight ahead, hard nose, running of the football now, I suspect, is all we're going to see uh, the Redskins uh, do here with 7.40 left on the clock, and the clock is running. Split backs once again. Payne will take and give to Pearson. Coming to the near side, breaks across the 30-yard line, down to the 32. He'll be about a yard and a half shy of the first down. Matt Lock and Carlisle there to make the stop for Tahlequah, one yard short of the first and 10. Third down, about a yard to go for the first down. Clock running, seven minutes, 12 seconds to play. Tulsa Union on top, 27-24. Payne will take and give to Wilkerson. Up inside, he's brought down at the 35-yard line. Enough for the first down, however. Robert Carlisle to make the stop, but the Redskins have possession of the ball with a first and 10 on their own 35 with seven minutes left to play in the football game. The Tigers trailing 24-27. Bailey will switch to the far side. And we got uh, Fitch goes to Wilkerson, and he'll be brought down after a gain of about nine yards. I saw the tight end, Kelly, number 80, Pat Kinney, who was in that set formation, uh, move, but no penalty flag went down. Yeah, well, that's one of the breaks, Scott. Uh, Wayne Guthrie was there to make the stop for Tahlequah, but as you say, just because we saw it, the refs didn't, that's, that's not right. going to... Help Tahlequah in this case. That's right. Split backs behind Payne. Give to Pearson. Pearson hit at the 45-yard line and will go down right there. I believe he's going to be a little short of the first down as they spot the football right on the 45. Has to go right across the 45. They're not even going to measure. Third down, less than a yard to go. That was Brad Matlock there wrapping up uh, the ball carrier just short of the first and 10. Inside, six minutes to play. Third down, less than a yard to go. Mitch Payne, the quarterback. He'll take and give to Wilkerson. First down, after the 48-yard line. Tulsa Union just chewing up a little bit of time, going about three yards at a time. Uh-oh, is that a flag or a... That for a first down, uh, no, I believe it's a towel. Yeah, okay. One of the players has dropped. Yep, first and 10, as you say, Scott. They're just grinding out the uh, yardage, little by little, as the scoreboard clock continues to tick. Split backs behind Payne. Bailey will come to the near side and split out there. Pitch goes to Wilkerson. 
Wilkerson hits the line of scrimmage and goes down. And picked up maybe a yard. And that was uh, Mike Reed coming in from his strong safety position to uh, cut down Mr. Wilkinson uh, after a gain of only about one yard. Right here, Kelly Ross, it'd be the time for one of those 33, make it 34 fumbles to That's right. pop up. The Tigers could use it right at this point. Second down, nine yards to go from the 49-yard line. Payne, bootleg coming to the near side. Hits and will go down just across midfield at the Tiger 49, coming up to make the stop look like Mike Reed. Yes, it was. Now for his uh, strong safety position, uh, Mitch Payne was able to squirm forward about another yard and a half. So Scott, that is going to bring up third down now from uh, the Tiger 49. Here's probably the play of the ball game. Should the Tigers get back in it? Third down, seven yards to go. Pitts goes to Pearson coming to the near side. He's hit, goes down at the 46 yard line. So the Tigers, I believe, will get the football back. That was Derek Niggs making a beautiful tackle as he uh, cut the ball carrier down uh, well short of the first and 10, down on the 45. So Reisenhuber will retreat. Coming in to do the kicking is Ken Vaughn, or excuse me, Rick Vaughn. Good snap from center. He'll kick it away. Good, high, driving kick. And we'll hit at the three-yard line, and whoo, just Boy. barely bounced into the end zone. Yes, so it did. Thomas had a backspin on oh. it down there, Scott. They would have left it right on the Tiger goal line, but as uh, being a touchback, they'll take over. First and 10 on their 20. Tigers will have it with four minutes and one second remaining here in the football game. And I've got to stand up. First and 10 for Tahlequah at the 20 yard line. Football right in the middle of the field as they would spot it. Single setback. Counter play. And Reisenhoover fumbles the football. And Union has recovered it, I believe. We'll wait and see. At the 10-yard line is where it's at. We'll have to wait and see. And Union has recovered at the Tahlequah 10-yard line. And the break went the wrong direction that time, Scott, as, uh-oh, uh, uh -oh, there's a flag. Went up in the air high, high, high by the officials. That's going to be a dead ball foul. I believe maybe one of the players uh, threw the football or something. We have a sportsmanlike, no, I take my uh, words back as sportsmanlike conduct against Tulsa Union. So, Union will have the football, but nonetheless, they'll have a 15-yard penalty on top of that, which will spot the football back at the 25-yard line. 3.54 to play. Dead ball foul and sportsmanlike conduct against Tulsa Union. So, first down, and 25 yards to go for Union. Payne will take and give to Wilkerson, down close to the 20-yard line. Pick up of about five, second down, and about 20. Clock running with 3.35 to play. The Tigers aren't out of it yet. I'll tell you what, still a lot of time to go. That's right, three and a half minutes is a lot of time. But they've got to get the football back. Split backs behind the quarterback, Mitch Payne. Counterplay goes to Bailey, coming to the far side, and his hit will go down at the 19 on a great open field tackle. That was number 26, Nick Easter there making the stop. Cut his feet right out from under him. So that will bring up a third down and 19 yards to go from the 19. Inside three minutes to play, clock running right here. Payne will take, wants to throw, straight drop back, flags go down, pass is caught at the five yard line, but we have penalty markers that are down. And one of the Tigers is slow getting up, that is rising over, he's all right though, as he got up finally. And the penalty marker is, I don't, that may be uh, equipment violation, I don't know, I can't really tell. It's against the Tigers nonetheless. That was a completed pass down to about the five yard line, which would make it uh, about third and what? 
Well, well third, it ought to go because they were on the 10 to start with, so they've got to score. I don't believe they can pick up a first and 10. It would make it uh, fourth down, I believe, Kelly. That was third down right there, and if they take the penalty, it will make it third down and 14. If they decline, it will be fourth down and, and goal from the five. That is correct. So we have yet to see who that pass was completed to. 28 uh, was the receiver. That's Kenny Hopkins. Looks like they're going to bring it back and penalize the Tigers so they'll still have third down. All right. That's about the football at the 14-yard line. Third down. And, well, as we look across the way, they still have both of those chains up. So uh, looks like that uh, the Redskins can get a first down. I don't know how it would be. Just right outside the goal line, I guess. Third down. 14 yards to go from the 14 yard line. Split backs behind the quarterback, Mitch Payne. He will take, wants to throw, re rolling to his right, does throw, and it is incomplete, almost intercepted in the end zone. So Union is in worse field position than they were a while ago uh, as they decided to take that penalty. So with 2.37 to play here in the football game, Rick Vaughn comes in, and he will be attempting a field goal of about 31 yards. Score is 27-24, Union's favor. This would put him up by six if he's able to convert. The Tigers still, of course, as you say, have plenty of time, two and a half minutes. 32-yard attempt as Payne spots it at the 22-yard line. And they're going to fake it. Payne is the holder, as we said. He's running around, wants to throw. Does throw. It's complete. And that is Vaughn. The pass complete to Vaughn. It will go down at the 15-yard line, so the Tigers will get it back first and 10 from their own 15-yard line. Great defensive effort by Chris Reisenhoover as the Vaughn, the tempted kicker, uh, was, the, was the receiver, but he was a long way from making enough to keep the Tigers from having possession first and 10 on their own 15-yard line. Two and a half minutes clock running here in the football game. Ray will throw, straight drop back, looking to his right, throws to his right, Pass is caught at the 25 to Sam Bowers. That's right where he had to go for the first down. He'll be about a yard short, I believe. Looks like it's just that they're spotting it right on the 25, and he needs to go to about 25 and a half, Scott. You're right. It'll be second and one. Sam Bowers, the receiver on that play. Beautiful catch over there again. More importantly, he got out of bounds to stop the clock. 219. Second down, less than a yard to go. Now they start the clock, so I thought he'd gotten out of bounds. <laughs> Receivers will split one to either side, single setback now. They set a twin set to the far side. Hand off inside to Hannah. Hannah across the 25, down to the 28-yard line. Enough for the first down, and we have two minutes to play in the football game. Shea Brown, a 5'10 senior, bringing down Chris Hanna, but the Tigers, as you say, have two minutes left to play. First and 10 on their own 28-yard line. Split backs, twin set to the far side. First and 10 for the Tigers. Ray wants to throw, straight drop back. Throws it up, complete at the 40-yard line, out of bounds. That is Sam Bowers once again, and Bowers I believe we'll have the first down depending on where they spot the football. They're going to spot it back. He made the reception about the 39-yard line, but they spot him out of bounds at the 37. Hmm. He, was, he fell over the stake, but I guess they felt like his momentum was on the inside. They're still working with the chain over there. I'm not sure, but what... Well, that's, that's right along the Tiger sideline, and I know that uh, Coach Cooper may be discussing where the, they spotted that one. All right, we're ready to go. Second down, a yard to go for the first down. Split backs behind Ray. Split receivers one to either side. He'll throw. Looking to his left, throwing. His receiver fell down. That's Robertson who fell down. It's incomplete as it goes out of bounds and stops the clock with 1.39 to play. Third down and a yard to go. There were a couple of Union uh, defensive men there. As you say, Wayne Robertson slipped down on the turf and uh, the ball went sailing out of bounds. Third and one for the Tigers. One and 139 left to play and the Tigers still trailing 27 to 24. Single setback behind John Ray. 
Three receivers, they are split to the far side from the 36-yard line. 37-yard line, pardon me. Third down and one. Ray will take. He'll hand off inside to Hannah. He gets up to the 38-yard line, and he'll have the first down where they spot the football. One minute and a half, Scott. The clock's going to be starting here as soon as they set the cha chains. The Tigers in their two-minute offense, less than one minute. 33 seconds is what remains on the clock. The Tigers trail 27 to 24. They wind the clock, and it's in motion. Single setbacks. Receivers, three of them split to the far side. First and 10. Ray wants to throw. Straight drop back. Screen pass, and it's incomplete. Uh, intended for Risenhoover, and John Ray having a lot of pressure applied to him right there. Stops the clock with 1.16 to play. Second down and 10 from the 39-yard line. And Billy Gumby, of course, was right in there as the... Uh Screen pass was letting the lineman come through, and uh, John didn't really have a whole lot of time for Chris to clear. So it'll, as you say, bring up second and 10. Twin set to the far side, split receiver to the near side, and Ray, bounce pass, throws it to Risenhoover, and he just throws the football away. Bounce pass, I don't know if they were going to call that incomplete or not. Scott, no, I think that was a set play. We're uh, trying to get the defense to relax on the ball bouncing to the intended uh, first receiver uh, with the hopes that uh, they would give the chance for the, the primary receiver to get on down the field. I don't think that was an accident that ball was bounced over there. Third down, 10 yards to go. One minute, 11 seconds. Twin set comes to the near side. Flanker will set in the near side. Third and 10, Ray wants to throw. Turn around, throwback, pass is complete at the 42-yard line. Of course, that is about uh, seven yards short of the first down, 59 seconds, clock running, and that will be stopped with 59 seconds. The Tigers looking at fourth down and seven yards to go from the 42. Chris Risenhoover was the uh, receiver cutting back right straight over the middle, just running parallel with the uh, line of scrimmage. Uh, a couple of the Redskins were right there as soon as he received the ball. Coach Cooper is visiting with uh, John Ray. This is going to be the play that uh, determines whether or not the Tigers are going to be able to keep possession. We'll keep it right here. Fourth down, seven yards to go from the 42-yard line. The play of the football game. 59 seconds is all that remains. Tulsa Union, 27. Tahlequah, 24. Three receivers will split to the near side. Hannah, the only setback behind the quarterback, John Ray. 59 seconds to play, fourth down and seven. Ray, straight drop back. Being chased, will be sacked back at the 35-yard line. Tulsa Union will take over with 54 seconds to play, first and 10 at the Tiger 35. That was Billy Goomby, the nose guard, breaking right through as John Ray retreated. Uh, he was right there with him, and as you say, he sacked him back on the 35, so the Redskins have possession of the football in Tiger territory with 54 seconds and the clock running. So all Union has to do right here is run out the clock. Payne retreats back, puts a knee down on the 40-yard line, and I don't know, I don't think the Tigers can even stop the clock. They'll try to right here. Yes, they can. We'll keep it right here with 39 seconds to play. Tulsa Union, second down, 13 yards to go from the 39. Either way you look at it, Kelly, I think this probably will be the final play in the football game. Right, with only 39 seconds, it'll take one more stat. I don't believe the Tigers have any more timeouts, and that would let the clock just continue to run. And Scott, irregardless of uh, how the game uh, ends, you, we've got to give a lot of credit to a valiant young, bunch of young men on both teams. Uh, both teams have been down and came back tonight, and it's been a fine football game between two fine football teams. Union, of course, uh, coming in ranked one or two in the polls, and uh, their ground attack certainly attests to their ability to move the football. Payne will take. He will drop down to a knee, and they will go back to the 43-yard line, third down. Clock running with 30 seconds to play. So Union will be forced to run one more play. Third down, 16 yards to go from the 43-yard line. 
Yeah, Kelly Ross, adding to your comment right there, you have to be proud, especially the Tahlequah Tigers, who were not supposed to do as well as they have, and they've fooled a lot of people right here. Payne drops to a knee once again, goes down 6-5-4. That's the ball game here from Gable Field. The final score, Tulsa Union 27, Tahlequah 24. We'll be back to wrap it up after this two-minute...